Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Price Action Trading School. Today's lesson, a breakout and how to trade breakout. So, before we begin, as you know, our standard risk disclaimer. Risk disclosure statement stating all possible risks associated with Forex market. By accepting the risk, you're also proceeding further with me. Annual markets, UKLTD takes no responsibility for information accuracy. This is solely my opinion and in no way it represents the actual suggestion for a trade. These are not MUK's opinions and the website in the video is not a .co.uk website but a globalnews.com website. Forest is risky business and this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only. By logging into your trader's room, you will be able to download Iron Market Supreme Edition. You can also use the advantage of Web Trader here. And don't forget that you're officially trading with Best MT4 Broker. Guys, also, it's a good time to invest in a new account. So if you, if you want to open a new account, and I state a new account, you can get up to 50% on the deposit bonus. Okay, and of course by using our IB link, you can earn credits for our products such as Harp, EQ, Pivot Points. As you can see, results on EQ Pivot Points are excellent. And uh, just by trading with other markets, you can earn a lot. So, needless to say, well, you know that I have five different accounts and I'm focused on low to high build up project at this point and I'm very happy how it goes. So today's agenda, what are breakouts, why and when to trade breakouts, measuring the strength of breakouts. So this is what we are going to do today. So this is Price Action Training School and all of you who are here will learn how to properly trade breakouts. So what are breakouts? A breakout is what occurs when prices exceed previously determined support or resistance levels. Okay? So we don't trade breakouts unless we have a very, very solid reason to do that. Okay? For example, breakouts are usually traded when you see big volatility kicking in. Unless there is no volatility, you don't trade breakouts guys because you might tr be trapped in a range bound market <laughs> well one of the reasons when you should trade breakouts is definitely you need to babysit it and you need to s you that is a fast money that is very fast money so you either need to babysit the trade or you need, you need to be at the right time and at the right spot when breakout occurs because if you put a pending order, I, I don't do breakouts with pending orders. Just because I might get trapped in a no volatility zone, you know, Levez, and market might range. So instead of giving me a breakout, if it's a Levez, Levez pattern, market might spike and kick me out of the trade. So that is why I, I never uh, trade breakouts unless I have a valid reason to do it. Okay, I want to see momentum. So long positions are triggered when price moves about, uh, above resistance and short positions are signaled when price drops below a clearly defined level of support. Breakouts along longer time frames create more significant changes and that is the fact. Breakouts on shorter time frames have more impact on day trading. Translated to trading language, this means that breakouts on longer time frames can give you a signal for a trend direction, while breakouts on shorter time frames will make you pips. Well, well, simple as that. A longer time frame breakouts give you the trend, new levels of support resistance. They definitely show you where the price is heading. But on lower time frames, such as 5, 15 minutes, even one hour, you can make money with it because you are effectively trading it. Next, price action trading school will be multiple time frame analysis. And that will be very important because uh, everything is based on multiple time frame analysis. Okay? So pay attention to this. 
Now, what are, what, why is good to trade breakout? Huge momentum spikes can lead to very fast profits. Breakout trades tend to be fastest way of making profits. London breakout is, is typical example. Orders have been accumulated in Asia session, so we usually base our trades in early London and end or lo London open. Because sometimes you will see there is no trend, but there are still levels that we can trade. Breakouts do stop grabbing. Don't forget it. The reason why you want to trade breakouts and exploit breakouts is stop grabbing. Price will go above resistance, will go below support, and it will collect some stops. When you see it, when you see the price doing it, you know that you have the chance to grab instant pips, guys. Instant pips. You can make 10, 15, 20 instant pips. And that is a very good thing. When to trade breakouts? When usually London open. It's a good time to trade breakouts. But don't forget, it's not only London open. You can go with trend trades, for example, during the day when you expect. Don't forget, you need volatility to trade breakouts. You cannot simply trade breakout just because you see that a level is broken. You need momentum. You need to see market moving. You need to do it. If you don't listen now what I'm saying, very occasionally you will be trapped in false breakout. And then you need to reverse the trade. And usually when you reverse the trade, market just hits uh, your stop loss and then you, you just don't know what to do. So that is why you need to learn how to protect yourselves guys when you learn how to protect yourselves from false breakouts when you learn when to trade breakouts you need screening time okay I will show you how to do it but you need to practice it you need screening time so only then you will be able to trade breakouts successfully also when there is a nice breakout pattern forming such as double top bottom triangles wedge pennants you can also try to trade breakouts but remember you need momentum opportunities and dangers fast way of making profits price has a huge momentum spike because it collects stops above below support resistance levels it's called stop grabbing and this is it for example you see for example uh, ODN yes ODN was perfect to trade and also, we had a, we had pound dollar. So what happened is basically when you see a pattern like like a pennant, and you define this as your potential breakout point, for example. So the thing is, you just want to see if there is momentum. If you see that there is momentum, okay, you trade breakout. You can use different techniques for breakout. I will show you the techniques. But the thing is, you go with breakout of patterns, breakout of important pivot points, while still having momentum and volatility. For example, pound dollar today was good one. It, it lost a momentum afterward. But at a time when I published the analysis, well, it served us good because we had a flag here and we had a bullish flag here. Price was 43.70. It went to 44 something after the breakout. But not only it was a breakout, it was also a POC point. So this is how you do it. You can also align trend trades such as POC and breakouts because POC always reflects a pullback. So this is a trend here, you see. When this trend line is broken, we had a confirmation of uptrend. This was another confirmation, retest, and this is a, a pull. 
this is a flag. This is a pullback towards POC. So here you had two things that told you it, it screamed we want to go long. And yes, we went long, guys. POC was retracement point where we expected the price to spike. And here we had we had a breakout point. So actually, both breakout and POC points were close. And trend was to the upside. So what you could do is enter a long trade. So that is how you, you need, you just need to, to use your own logic. Of course, you won't be trading any breakout if you see that market is at the end of day. What, what, what would it mean? For example, now, even if something happens, I would never place any breakout trade at this time. It's 6, 11 p.m. GMT plus 2. Market is calm. So next action is expected during Asian session. So you are not crazy to, to, to place a breakout trade at this point. You would be probably stuck in a trade and it won't be up to you. It would be up to Asian market. So don't trade higher time frames breakouts, guys. You don't do it. You trade on lower time frames. You can even use one minute, but I'm, now I'm referring to equities. If you trade equities such as DAX, Standard & Poor, uh, FTSE, various indices, Nikkei, you can do it on one minute. If you're trading Forex market, we use five minutes, we use 15 minutes usually. And also I zoom in, I will show you how to do it. Don't trade higher time frames because risk reward is poor you won't be trading for our time frame solely. You need a higher time frames as direction, but you need lower time frames to give you better entries, to give you better price where you can actually place your trade at. False breakouts are common, and if we experience a false breakout, we need to close the trade and reverse it. I already show you how to trade false breakouts. Uh, I'm not sure that I did it with price action training school, I need to check it. But uh, if I haven't done it yet, I will schedule it very soon. So you can trade false breakouts, but usually is in a form of additional trade. Because uh, I, I really prefer real breakouts than to, to, to false breakouts. I, I'm not a fan of false breakouts, although I trade it from sometimes, but usually if I lose a breakout trade, then I, I go with false breakout setup. Trigger happy trades will make more profit. <laughs> well, it's always like that. While retest trades are safer or BPC. But, you know, when I see a huge breakout happening at important level, I am fond to make a trigger happy trade. So these are types of breakout trades. Trigger happy, BPC, or breakout pullback continuation, breakout retest, and breakout pullback retest continuation. This is trigger happy trade. Let's say that you want to trade a triangle breakout. Haha, <laughs> Nathan is saying, yes, you did, along with pivot breakouts, and I nailed 20 pips on such market open. Yes, Nathan, that's it. Well, basically, I also like uh, I, I like those trigger happy trades. I know that a lot of traders and not analysts, but maybe traders is a better word, will tell you uh, that it's not that good, right? But I don't know. Maybe I'm a different to others because <laughs> I have noticed that I don't know. Maybe eight out of ten trigger happy breakout end with success. And Nathan is saying, I do it now every day. So Nathan is doing it every day. So guys, that is what I'm... You, New York Open, London, yes. You can nail some pips. But the thing is, you also need to have a feeling 
when you don't need indicator to tell you when when you when there is volatility or when there is momentum you you will get the feeling for that just by having a good screening time okay and yes we don't trade during asia session and uh, definitely guys uh, asian session are best suitable to for uh, yen pairs such as odi and new zealand yen euro yen but i naturally don't trade asian session because uh, I live in London time zone, I mean GMT time zone, so I need to sleep. One of the reasons why I don't trade. But I take a look. Every day I take a look at Asian Open because I need to see what happened during Asia session. It will give me the cue for London session. So trigger happy, yes, Nafisa, I will explain. Trigger happy trades is taking the trade immediately after the price breaks lower support. Breakout retest is waiting for a retest of breakout point. So if this was a breakout point, this was this is a retest. And breakout pullback continuation is taking the trade after the price retest broken support and continues after the breakout point. So this is point one, this is point two, this is point three. Point one is trigger happy. Point two is the the low, the lowest breakout point before price started to pull back. Uh, point three is retest, and when it when if it goes like this, breaking the point two, we say it's breakout pullback continuation. Now we have breakout pullback retest continuation, and this this can happen. So breakout point here, the low, the lowest point of breakout before retrace, retest point. Now, if you don't see a breakout of point two, the price might retest this resistance again, and you can see it very frequently when market is indecisive and when market is ranging, that uh, the price tends to retest uh, the, the breakout point here and retest point and only then after two time retest it goes to actually make a breakout continuation so when you see this this is breakout pullback retest continuation I know it's similar to this but the only reason is pride didn't make continuation move here it went in a form of retest, then drop. So when you see this, guys, don't think immediately it will be W. It can be this. It can be this. So it, it might fool you to think that it actually wants to reverse, but it just break out pullback retest continuation pattern. Trigger happy trades are very fast, but dangerous. Because from time to time, if you see a trigger happy trade, you might experience a fake out. And fake out can be your mistake. Well, it does not necessarily mean that trigger happy trade is bad. It means that market is still maybe in some congestion phase or a phase where it wants to make a pullback or retreat before making a possible breakout. Sometimes you will see a failure of trigger happy trade, but just a couple of minutes or let's say a couple of, usually it's minutes or, or during the same hour. Let's say if, if it makes a breakout trade after a couple of hours, well, that's really a huge congestion. But if it makes another trigger happy trade in a couple of minutes, well, that means that you, you didn't pick up the timing. But it's not your fault, guys, because you are not here to move the market. You are here to follow the big fish. You, you don't move the market, OK? So treat it as a scalp entry. And usually, best opportunities are Break out of Asia, London, New York range, and or daily high and low. Quick questions, uh, Arne. 
uh, from Asia session to London Open. Well, Arne, maybe on other webinar. At this time, we are focused on breakouts. Ilya is saying, do you record this? Yes, I'm recording this. I'm recording the webinar. It will be uploaded. I will show you all these setups and how to trade it on live chart. So be patient. Breakout retest tends to be more secure than trigger happy. Price does not always pull backs. And best opportunities are flat top triangles, flat bottom triangles, and rectangles. BPC is same as retest. These are the best opportunities. And breakout pullback uh, retest continuation, the only difference is price is congested. So it might make this. But yes, we use flat top. We use all sort of patterns. Let's see this one. So here, so this is one hour time frame. How you actually trade it? You zoom into five minute time frame, guys. So if you see one hour setup, you zoom into five minute and watch for possible entries. My entry is strong momentum candlestick. So I will use this slide and after it I will use real time chart. So I will show you how to practically do that but you need to use strong candlesticks. That will be a signal for you to take the entry. At this point this would be trigger happy. At this point it would be breakout retest. At this point it would be breakout retest continuation. Let's say that you have traded this one. So this is trigger happy. This is retest, breakout retest. And this is breakout pullback continuation. This is trigger happy trade. And this is retest because you, you put the line like this. So this is retest trade. And here is breakout retest continuation. Here you see trigger happy. You don't see a retest until this point. And you see breakout pullback continuation failed because price has made this. So the only way you can hope for is breakout pullback retest continuation. This is trigger happy. This is breakout retest. This is breakout pullback continuation. This is trigger happy. This is breakout retest. This is breakout pullback continuation. Okay? So this is clear, guys. How you measure the breakout strength? Simply by using price action. So it's very simple. You just measure the pole when you see pennant or a flag and add the pole to a potential breakout point. Okay, like this. When you see this, I how I do it? I, I usually measure distance from top to bottom. But very occasionally, because market can uh, move uh, in, in uh, false moves, it, may, it can make false moves. For these breakouts of head and shoulders, I use pivot point. So I, or I close trigger happy trade for a random number of pips. Here, Ilya is, yes, but pullback can be above, but it, it shouldn't be. If you see this, this is a proper retest. This is a proper retest. I will show that also on live chart. So here, when you see a triangle, you just add the distance the, 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 the biggest swing, so this was the biggest swing here, and you add the distance here. So this is this, and you can see targets are respected. Well, I will show you now. The, okay, just a second, I clicked the wrong button. Okay.
this is here is your trigger happy trade because if you see this you zoom into lower time frame I will show you that and you actually take a trade this is breakout retest point when you see a retest you again need to zoom into lower time frame to see if there is rejection and from this spot here would be breakout pullback continuation when you see a wedge okay the lowest valley in the pattern is the price target so you see here this was a target here and you see here this is the final target too okay and now I will show you live chart okay let give me five minutes uh, five seconds okay So this is M, guys, potential M pattern. And we had a good trade today. If you, if you read the analysis, this was our POC, and price spiked after the analysis for some 30 pips, even more, 40, 45. But the problem is, if we don't see a momentum, if we don't see any spike to the upside, this can turn to be M pattern. If you see M, that means that the price is ready to reverse. And tomorrow is Friday. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's Thursday, actually. So it, it, it still has a chance to go up, yes, more to the upside. But just to be sure, if it happens, it could be a breakout trade to the, uh, to the short side. Uh, Ilya, I will answer your questions, but just let me explain this. So when you see this, you can be ready to potentially take a trade on a breakout. If it's one hour, you move into five minutes, and you want to see a strong momentum candle breaking down, breaking down this line. Let's use the example that happened in the past it will be easier for you. For example, you wanted to trade this breakout here. So you see it's on one hour time frame. What you do is you zoom into five minute time frame. Okay, let's find objects list. Uh, vertical line here. And this is it. So this is your entry. You want to see a strong, you want to see a strong breakout candle. A fake out is different, Arne, and there will be a lesson on a fake out, but not for today because today is breakout. So this is your potential entry because you see a strong momentum candle. Okay, strong momentum candle, I, 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 I prefer Marubozu candles because Marubozu candles are usually usually very strong momentum candles. So when you see that happening, guys, you might actually take a breakout trade. And the thing is, I prefer momentum candles because those momentum candles give me the cues, <coughs> sorry, of a possible price rejection. So that is a very good way to actually measure the potential entry with, with a candlestick. Let's use other example. For example, let's see if there was a pattern. Okay, here, very clear. Ascending scallop here. Look at this. 
Now, this is, okay, I need to open one hour time frame. Well, on one hour, we don't see anything except for, we don't see any pattern. But let's say, you, let's say just for the sake of webinar, you want to take a break out of L3 on Camarilla. Because you see there is momentum, you see a pattern here, for example, and you want to take a trade. So what would you do? Okay, you follow, you follow the price on one hour, and you just zoom in to five minutes. Okay, five minutes here. Let's see, five minutes is here. So you want to see a strong momentum candle. This is strong momentum candle. Look at buyers here. And this is also very strong momentum candle. And what happened? Breakout to the upside. Uh, screen is frozen, so, sorry. So this is one hour. And let's say you want to take a, a long trade here, breakout. Because you, you have noticed a pattern. Now, we don't see a pattern here. But just, just for the sake of the webinar, you want to take a breakout of this level. So one hour time frame, you zoom into five minutes then you actually want to watch for strong breakout candle. And here it is. Strong breakout candle here and strong candle here. This is buying in our moment. This is also strong buying, Marubozu candle. And here, that was a signal to go long. Uh, let's use other example of, let's see, yeah, th this can be a good example. So you want to take a trade, okay, here. So you actually saw this was a, a, fall, uh, a false breakout to the downside after uh, oil went down. You remember that. The only thing uh, is if you shorted it here, you could have made some pips because the price heavily went to the upside. So. This was a false breakout, and now you see the price is trying to break this level. So you want to trade it. At one hour time frame, you're watching the price. See here, it's a strong buying. You have a pin. You have a hammer. So what you do is you zoom into five minutes. You need to use uh, those uh, multiple time frames. Okay? And here, see here. You wait for, yeah, here it is, strong Marubozu. So this is your entry. So after this, it went to a drawdown, but later it went in a huge profit. And here it is also another confirmation that the trend will go to the upside. So that is how you take those breakout trades, guys. If you see something on four-hour time frame, for example, four-hour time frame, well, guys, for example, if I see that this candle closed above 108.74, I would use that as a cue that the price wants to go more to the upside. But I don't trade on four hour. I use one hour and five minutes. Some people, and yes, there is also theory about four hour and 15 minutes. But this is PNT method, and this is how we, you can try to go with four hours and fifteen minutes. So let's say that you saw a fifteen-minute, four-hour break here. You zoom into fifteen minutes, same as you do with one hour. But four hour is not momentum, guys. Four hour is trend. Momentum is one hour, fifteen minutes, five minutes. That is momentum. Okay. You don't need momentum to trade four hour time frame. Four hour time frame simply gives you the cue for a possible price movement. So that is why you use four hour time frame. You don't use it to trade it. I mean, as I say, you can use it by, by applying the logic. But I'm telling you, use one hour and five minutes for intraday setups. And four-hour time frame is to give you the cue, okay? So if this closes, if this candle closes above this double top, it's four-hour time frame. 
that will be a possible signal to me to start looking for long trades. But if I saw this happening on one hour time frame, let's say we have one hour time frame, I might zoom into five minutes and try an entry there. So that is how you do it. You do, just don't trade every single spot, guys. And that is tra trigger happy. I, I, was, I was talking about trigger happy trades. Now let's use example on breakout retest. So all, all this is actually uh, trigger happy. Now let's use, okay, this is good, M pattern here. So let's see how we, we would trade this. So if you go with trigger happy, break out of this point here, you would zoom into five minutes, okay, and watch for Marubozu. Look at this, guys, Marubozu candle. Your entry is here. This webinar is recorded and it will be uploaded. So look at this. Potential nine, uh, 20 pips. Okay, this was your signal. Now, watch for retest. You also watch for retest on one hour time frame. So we don't see a retest. So we need to find an example when there is a retest. Let's, let's search for, for it. Here, we saw a retest, guys, okay? Here, you see, breakout here and retest. So trigger happy trade would be here. Five minutes, okay? Okay. Let's find it. Okay, here, this is your entry here. Here, see, five minute Marubozu candle. So trigger happy trade. Retest trade, actually, you also search for it on one hour. This is a retest, you see, retest. Here is a retest, open five minute time frame. And the same thing you watch for the signal, candle signal. Okay, so this was a retest here on five minute. And where would be your entry? Guys, your entry is here. At the break of this candle, previous high was broken here. See, mini retest here, see here. So this is your entry. Previous high was broken. So you want to see a previous high broken. This was retest, I will move this. See, and here you made an entry. Now, if you wait for a candle close, you might not be trading it here, but you might be trading it here, okay? Because this is where candle closed. So you take your entry here. So you need to break a high on five minutes, and that is your filter to actually protect you from false breakouts. Let's use other example. One hour. Yeah. There is a pattern here. Okay. See, price was congesting here. Congestion, congestion, congestion. False breakout to the upside. Okay, let's use this example. This is excellent. This is even better. M. Look at this M here, guys. Look at this. Clear M pattern. So, one hour, trigger happy. Zoom into five minutes and search for entry. Your entry is here. See, momentum candle, even this one is good, momentum candle. Okay? One hour, price has tried to make the retest here. So we can say, even though it wasn't a real retest because it didn't hit the level, it can be a form of retest because if you go here, you might find an entry in five minutes. Here, five-minute chart. 
See? This could be a form of retest. And when it breaks this spot here, you go for a breakout retest continuation. Okay? See here? And up below this spot is also in five minutes breakout retest continuation. We will use one more example and one more example and then you can ask questions guys. Okay, this is here. Let's see if we have some patterns. Yeah, well guys, this is end of day inverted head and shoulders here. Look at this, inverted head and shoulders end of day trading. Well, let's say that you have traded this. I wouldn't take a trade because it's too late. But just for the sake of webinar, let's say you have traded this. This is bullish, right? You know that already. If you studied price action training school as I've been teaching you, you know that this is left head, right? Inverted head and shoulders. Breakout of neckline. You can also trade from this spot, but it's not breakout. This is breakout here. So one hour here. Five minutes. It's it's trying to break it. Okay, it's trying to break it, and here it broke. So you need to be close to your computer. That is important. And look at this. End of day, 16 pips possible. End of day trading. So when you see that pattern is going to be broken, you need to zoom into five minute time frame, guys. You need to do it. Because that is when you you start searching for entries. So you expect this to break. You immediately zoom into five minutes. You don't wait on one hour to break. Okay, this is important. You don't wait on one hour. You, this is just a signal for you that there could be a potential breakout. So you don't wait on, you don't trade on one hour. You watch one hour, you see there is potential breakout, you zoom into five minutes. Breakout trading is not the same. It's completely different to positional trading, guys. Okay? So that is why it's important that you understand this fully. Okay, let's do one more example. Okay. I think we have a pattern here. Yes, you see? This is bearish flag or bearish pennant, it's better to say because it's it's it, it's like a triangle. So it's bearish pennant here. So what would you do? Here you can only one chance, guys. And that is trigger happy because it didn't have a retest. Okay. Thanks, Nathan. You, you should be able to see the screen now. So this is bearish pennant, you see? And look at this, congestion. You can do it like this, you can do it like this, it doesn't matter. You trade it to the downside because you want to go with the trend, okay? You follow the trend. Here, at this spot, you start to watch for potential entry. Price is here. And it's very close to break out of the pennant here. You want to take to take a trade in short direction because trend is to the downside. You watch it on one hour, price is here, you move into five minutes. And you watch for momentum candle. Here, you see a momentum candle. Much better than this. You don't trade this. These, these are buying here. This is buying. Bang! Immediately when you see this breaking down, closing like this, you make a trigger happy trade. Five minute time frame is enough. I know many of you would take a trade immediately as it breaks. Right? Immediately. When, when you see it breaking down, you pull the trigger. But look what can happen. And price could have gone to the upside. So you want to have a filter with trigger happy. And this is your filter. 
momentum candle. So as soon as you see momentum candle, you pull up the trigger and you're, you're good to go. Yes, Jack, I wait for the momentum candle to close. Because in the past, when I traded trigger happy trades, well, usually they were successful without this, without waiting. But, you know, sometimes it can happen when the price breaks, immediately you take a trade and you're faked out. So, yes, I know, there is a huge opportunity at immediate breakout. But just to filter those potential fake outs, you wait for momentum candle to close. That is why I do it on five minutes. It's not much. So if, th if this was the low, it's only six pips, so it's not much. I expect the price to go even further down. Uh, Nafisa, I don't understand your questions. Your question, is there a way to set the Admiral Market Platform to pips? I, I, I don't understand what it means, set platform to pips. Okay, so this is how you go. So you see here on one hour, you didn't have a retest. Retest would be here. You didn't have it, guys. Okay, you didn't have any retest. Here, look at this. Watch this. Another potential breakout trade. Another pennant here. Yes, uh, Arne, Marubozu should prevent you from fake on five minutes. See here. Price is trying to break this level. It's trying to break it. And when you see it happening, you don't wait for the break on one hour. You just are ready on five minutes. So you go to five minutes. You need to be ready to trade it. And here it is. This is actually a retest on five minutes. This is not strong Marubozu candle. But look at this. It's a continuation trade. So from this spot you can go short. It's five minute continuation. See? Down. One hour. Look how one hour look like. So as soon as one hour is very close to breakout point, you open five minutes. Yes, I go with market execution. I don't make any pending orders with breakouts because I need to see momentum. It doesn't mean anything if level is broken if there is no momentum. That is why we need to watch the market. Okay, Nafisa, you can go to Euro Dollar. For example, here, Euro Dollar, one hour chart. This would be a good trade here, as I already told you. Because this was bearish M breakout. So as soon as you see market wants to break this low swing here, you open five minutes and watch for a breakout. Here, Marubozu candle. You enter the market and you're done. I know many people would probably take immediately this trade. When it breaks here, you pull trigger happy. Well, you can do it. But this is safer way to go, waiting for Marubozu. So when you see this, you can pull the trigger immediately. More often than not, you will have some pips. But it's safer usually to wait for confirmation. So guys, this is everything I had for you. If you have any questions, you can ask me. This webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded. If you don't, if you have any questions even after the webinar, you can email me and I will be glad to answer. Ilya is asking if the pullback would go as far as the price enters within a triangle. No, Ilya, I already show you. If you see this, 
I need to see one hour close to this. And only then I would zoom into five minutes and trade it as a breakout retest. Uh, you get out with trigger happy trade, you get out usually at next level of uh, support or resistance. So I go with Camarilla, but we will leave that for next webinar when we talk about Camarilla and other pivot points about targets. Uh, if you want to use a stop loss, you use it and you, you should use it. You always put it at a, a one hour candle. So if you're short, stop loss goes uh, three to five pips above one hour candle high. Or you can trade it aggressively. So if you take this entry here, you would probably place it at previous swing high on five minutes. Okay? So you can do it twofold. I usually take fast pips on trigger happy guys. This, uh, remember now, right, now pay attention to what I'm saying. This is not position trade. This is additional trade. You cannot treat it the same as position. So if you make your entry here in a form of trigger happy, 10, 15 pips. Take your pips. Eighty percent of the time, you will get at least five to ten pips. But you cannot treat it as position trade because there is no real target. It's fast trade. It's it's it, it's it's a scalp trade, guys. You can use levels, of course, but very often I take in between five and fifteen pips because it's immediate pips. Okay, so position trades have a clear stop loss and a clear, uh, clear target price. This only has a stop loss. So either one hour candle here or five minute candle at last high. Because you will be, you will be probably riding this trade for maybe two minutes or maybe twenty seconds, guys. You don't treat this as you don't you never treat this the same as your positional trade because you take fast pips if you go for breakout pullback continuation for example here let's imagine that this was a retest and here it was continuation then you take a trade at next support but for trigger happy you need to be fast I don't know about euro dollar up or down. I need to see daily close. Uh, trigger happy can turn to fake, Arne. Nothing is guaranteed, but the chances are you will be making some pips. But you need to be fast on your fingers. Doug is saying euro dollar had four hour bearish pin bar. No, you don't trade four hour breakouts here. Four hour is just for Q. If it closes below this L3, we might have a short trend. Let's see. It's end of day. Okay. Now for this webinar, Nathan, it's strictly about breakout trading. Positional and swing trading are actually pullback trading. So this is totally different perspective from positional and swing trading. And positional and swing trading will be discussed in one of our future session, re uh, uh, sorry, uh, price action training school webinars. Because before you actually start to make uh, position trades, you need to learn about confluence points around different things and so on. Yes, in the future it will be. Uh, aha, uh, my question was, can you set your TP as PIP? Uh, the best thing, Nafisa, is to actually watch your trade. Because when you go with breakout trades, you are fast on your fingers. You don't place any strict target price. You can place a random support resistance based on previous uh, action. So let's say you take this trade here, and you, I would probably place final TP here. I want to be fast, just for example. 
but usually when you trade breakouts you are fast on your fingers you take the pips and get out because the chance is that if you leave your trade it will turn against you remember this is not positional trading this is breakout trading totally different on four hour time frame it's again different let's say that I see a close of four hour below L3 point on Camarilla let's say just for example if this was normal trading hours I would assume that euro dollar would go down so four hour time frame breakouts give me next direction it doesn't give me a trade opportunity it gives me trend direction where it should go okay guys so that was it basically Jack I already explained a target is if you use one hour time frame and you let's say that you have taken a trade here your final target would probably be here because you want to be fast so you take your entry here so it's like 12 15 pips right if you see that price is still going down you move your final target here but you protect your trade here okay so you need to use pivot points previous levels of support and resistance so here we had L3 here we had swing high here we had see here we had previous swing low breakout trades can go against the trend okay that is why you don't treat it as position trade use pivot points and use previous levels of support and resistance Nafisa, my email is tarantulafx at gmail.com. That is my Gmail. You don't send me questions to Twitter. Uh, please send me questions to my email. So let's say one more example, guys, and we are off. <coughs> let's say that this is M and we want to take a short trade here. For example, okay, so when you take a trade, your next breakout target is this but your possible final breakout will be here you see confluence here and there so if you see that the price is going towards this point but this is still in uptrend guys you might close your trade okay if it doesn't touch the level you can you need to close it earlier because this is M yes but you see this is still uptrend so what can happen is price gets here and it rejects to the upside so now you understand why you don't have a clear target you might have a clear defined clearly defined target but usually if you go with trigger happy you will be exiting earlier like after one minute or 15 seconds or I don't know two minutes if you have momentum you want a fast rate only difference is if you see a close of four hours here then there is a cue that price can go lower and you can go with positional trades but breakout trades are different if you see a retest trade here let's say price is broken here made some money pips sorry and it tries to retest this region you open five minute time frame and watch if actually retest is successful also you know momentum candle and break of previous low okay guys so this is everything I had for you today I don't see any further questions if anything is not clear guys please send me a question but be sure to include the chart because I need to see the chart for actual question I need to see what you were aiming at thank you guys I wish you a great day I wish you many pips and I will talk to you soon cheers trade safe